The world debut of the new Yamaha R6. Good yeah. to see you again, man. Congratulations. You, you have an H2? Yeah. I do. Oh, boy. Love the wheels. This is a huge convention center here. and We got checked in finally. And we have our media passes. Awesome. So we're actually going to be able to see the show uh, on Thursday here before it's open to the general public. We're going to go find a table, have a seat, get some fruit and a snack for breakfast. How are you doing there? Good. You Morning. Doing? Good. Are these seats taken at all? We're very excited about you being here for AIM Expo. Now, let's shift focus to another category and the world premiere debut of a new super sport bike. Ladies and gentlemen, the world debut of the new Yamaha R6 with my newly crowned Moto America Super Sport champion, Garrett Gerlach. Get a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. has been dominant for years on the track and in the showrooms and it's really known for its iconic, mean, aggressive styling, razor sharp handling, and that screaming high RPM engine. And so for this new bike, our focus was to sharpen the performance even more. We wanted to, in terms of styling, inject some R-series DNA into its design but at the same time, we also wanted to keep some of that iconic r mean and aggressive styling character. So we've developed an all-new bodywork and body design, and actually, it is the most aerodynamically efficient Yamaha has ever produced in a mass production motorcycle. That's gonna be great on those big tracks, especially like the one down the street here in Daytona. It also has an aluminum fuel tank, which is about 1.2 kilograms lighter than a comparable steel tank. That's nice because that's weight that's very high up in the chassis, so you want to eliminate as much of that weight as possible. We also wanted to focus on handling. As sharp and nimble and aggressive as the R6 already was, we wanted to make it even better. So we have literally taken the components right off of the latest generation R1 and put it on the R6. The 43 millimeter KYB forks, the 320 millimeter rotors, and the four block Mono, for piston mono black calipers with that Nissan radial master cylinder right off the R1 on the R6, of course, completely tested and tuned for the R6 chassis. So this is going to give the rider a much more plain feel in the front end, more uh, feel or feedback from the front tire, which is just going to give you more confidence to corner even faster than before. We also wanted to give the rider more control for varying conditions. So we have uh, adopted the Yamaha drive mode or a D mode system, where you have three levels of control in terms of the power character, and then also a six level traction control system with the ability to, to turn it off. So a lot of adjustability there depending on the road condition or the track condition and available traction. So, I almost forgot the mic again. Garrett, this has been a great year for you. Congratulations on the championship. Yeah, thank you a lot. Uh, this was an amazing year, and uh, it was really great to get the championship. But I think above that, the uh, current R6 really helped me get the job done. And I was wondering if uh, Yamaha could pull it off. I was wondering if they could build a bike that was even better than the one I'm riding now. And I mean, I think looking at this thing, they, uh, they definitely pulled it off. Just with everything you talked about, the new body work, the new tank, new front ends, electronics. All that is going to make my job a lot easier next year in, in trying to defend that championship. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to try, so let's get it fired up. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you. The 2017 So we are here with the new Yamaha R6, one of the first people to see this bike. I'm on stage. I don't care. This bike is totally awesome. The gauges look phenomenal. The bodywork is unbelievable. Everybody is taking pictures of this motorcycle. The rear end is straight off of the R1. It is extremely compact. As you can see, there is a huge crowd around it. 
that everyone's really excited about it here at the AIM Expo in Orlando. Painted wheels. And guess what? I don't care. I'm going to sit on it. They can kick me off. Ooh, it's really light. Awesome. Super light. I'm going to get off now. Got it and drop it. That would have been that would have been pretty embarrassing if I dropped it on stage right there, but I, that didn't happen. So that was the first portion of the AIM Expo introduction. And we got to see the new awesome Yamaha R6. And there's my good buddy Garrett. Hey man, good to see you again, yeah, man. Good to see you too. Congratulations, man. That bike is awesome, man. Thanks. No, totally it's, awesome. It looks badass, right? Your I, suit is great too, man. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I. Uh, wow. This is the one new suit that I didn't crash in, so <laughs> nice. I saved it just for this moment. <laughs> That's totally awesome, man. Yeah, man. Have you rolled the thing yet, the R6, the new Dude, one? Ten feet. I wish wow. I had. Like, yeah. I wish I could ride it a little bit, uh, a little bit more, but not yet. Soon. Okay. So yeah. I can't wait though. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I can't wait too, man. Awesome, man. Good yeah. to see you again, man. Good Congratulations. To see you too. Good luck on the season, man. All right. Sounds good. Cool. See you later. Got it. And one of the first booths that I see here is Senna. And I definitely want to have a talk with these folks about their products. I use a Senna 20S for my mode vlogging. And I'm interested to see what their new products are going to be and what they've got cooking. We got the new Revit suits here. This one looks great. It's almost like snakeskin or something. First, I want to kind of tell you what the uh, what the Wall of Champions is all about. So several years ago, I got on one of the marketing meetings. We were trying to uncover a way that would allow us to remember and honor our past champions and uh, kind of bring them to the forefront. They've done a great job for our racing heritage and the image of Yamaha. So we thought it would be fitting to uh, bring them back and introduce them to our employees. So for several years, we had these at, in, in Cyprus, but uh, this is the first opportunity we've had to do this outside of uh, California, and the AIM show seemed to be a great one to, to have them at. So I'm really uh, excited to be uh, personally to have these guys here. A lot of them I have history with. Some of them I've been in the industry, but didn't work directly with them. So um, I think you're gonna be really excited when you see who they are. offers up a beautiful harmony of road racing and motocross, an artistic symmetry of two motorcycle racing disciplines merged into one. But it's still racing, and that means the winners often have to set aside the piece of harmony and just hit it to win. And from that perspective, no one tried harder in Supermoto than Mark Burkhardt. First of all, I gotta thank my mom and dad for uh, all the sacrifices they did to to uh, get my career going. John Dow didn't just ride a blue motorcycle, he wore a blue collar. The ultimate lunch tail carrying, hard hat wearing racer, the junkyard dog wasn't an amateur racing prodigy. In fact, he didn't even start racing until age 21. But he quickly made up for his late start with hard work. I, I managed to save a lot of the stuff. I mean, uh, first of all, I, I'd like to say that it's, it's, uh, it's been my honor and a privilege to be a part of this uh, thing with Yamaha. One of the most versatile riders ever to swing a leg over a motorized machine, Barry Hawk is arguably the greatest rider in the history of Grand National Cross Country Racing. Yeah, uh, like the video stated, uh, I, when I started riding a dirt bike, it really was uh, just a training tool for me to uh, try and propel me on the ATV side. As a road racer, there was a silky smoothness to everything that Tom Kidd did. He was smart, calculated, cool under pressure, and he knew how to guide a bike exactly where he needed it to go. Thanks a lot, Keith. Uh, great video. I enjoyed that. Some of my greatest memories as well uh, are on the Yamaha. As an American road racer, Thomas Stevens reached the pinnacle of AMA racing, winning the 1991 Superbike Championship on a Vance and Hines Yamaha. You were the first guy to win the Superbike Championship on Yamaha. What has that meant since that time or what did it mean back then? Well, it's something that you can define my career by, so it's something I'm super proud of. He 
he was known as the Hacker, and for more than one reason. Danny Hacking's nickname didn't just sound cool, it matched his aggressive style on the track. Again, like, that's something that a team likes to know, when the guy gets on the seat, he's going to give it everything he has, and if there's an opening, he's going to take it, and I think that he never let us down. No, no, I sure didn't do that, and uh, I'd just like to say, uh, first off, you guys took a chance on an average show that was working in a body shop, painting cars. Have a conversation with Jamie James, and you'll quickly realize he's one of the nicest guys in racing. But get into a duel with him on the track, and you'll find out why he's one of the all-time greats in AMA Road Racing. Appreciate that because I, you know, I hadn't ridden in a long time on any of the newer factory equipment, and uh, I was hoping one day I may get an opportunity, and you gave me that opportunity. So well, I gotta tell you, that scared the hell out of me watching you right now. <laughs> there was a time when it was hard to make a living as an American off-road racer, but Randy Hawkins not only broke through those barriers himself. He turned his success into gainful employment for many other riders as well. First of all, I'd just like to say thank you for the opportunity. Doug Henry's success came in the most basic way possible, through sheer determination. Not blessed with superior talent or all the right connections, Henry forced his way to the professional motocross scene with his own will. So, I'm sure you caught in that video the importance of this guy to Yamaha spanning over the two-stroke era, transforming us, into the four-stroke era, and then, again, taking us to a completely new discipline of supermoto, and then, even after all that, getting on snowmobiles. Well, thanks, Keith, and thank you, Yamaha, because you guys have been in, running through my blood for, for many, many years. In an era of road racing defined by trash-talking, swashbuckling global stars, Fast Freddy Spencer defined himself in a totally different manner by letting his racing do the talking. Well, I want to say first off, thank you for Yamaha for inviting me, even though I beat Kenny in 1983 for the championship. That was an amazing presentation from Yamaha, inducting 10 of their former riders into their wall of champions here at the AIM Expo. Great times. We're going to go back down and check out some more motorcycles. Andrew from Arai and he's going to show us the new Signet line of helmets. These replace the Signet Q. They're the Signet X, Andrew? Yes, this is the Signet X. Okay. Um, and it has the new shield system, the okay. VAS, variable axis. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do a shield change here. Okay. So you just pop it open. You got your little switch there. Just push that. One on each side? One on each side. Okay. It nice and simply just opens right up. Yeah. And then that's it. Shield just pops right off from there. Okay. So to put the shield back on, right, just leave the holders open mm -hmm. and you're going to line up this little gold pin with that red circle. Oh, that's nice. So it's very visual, it's very intuitive. Indeed. And that clicks in there. Okay. And once it clicks in, all you have to do is just hold it, open it, and that's it. Wow. It's already back on. That's my good buddy Wahid there, busy as usual. Everybody wants a piece of him. Hey, man. What's up? How are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Huge fan. Thanks, I love man. your reviews. I love your writing. I love everything you do, the write-ups and everything. Are you talking to me, though, right? Of course I'm talking to you. What's up, man? So what do you have on store for us for 2017? Uh, for 2017, I don't know. Like reviews? Hopefully a lot. Get that new Fireblade out there? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, for this next year, as you've seen, there's a lot of new motorcycles that have come out from Japan. Um, some more stuff coming up from Europe. And uh, it's going to be a good year. If you like riding motorcycles and you want the latest and greatest technology, this year would probably be a good year to get out there and buy a new bike and experience the thrill of motorcycling. 
I have to agree, man. And I'm definitely looking forward to see how he, what he thinks of the new bikes that are coming out for this year. So stay tuned. We're going to have him uh, probably on the channel a little bit and feature some of his reviews. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, let's ride some bikes and have some fun. And Hey, oh yeah, so you'll be at the AMX Expo in Columbus next year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to next yeah, year's so event next, coming out. You'll be able you to tell me hopping with you guys in the Midwest. In September, I've got so we'll a, I've got six bikes, seven bikes. Uh -huh. You tell me, I'm gonna send you a list of the bikes. Uh -huh. You tell me which bike you want me to bring to Columbus for the AMX Expo, and we're gonna go on a ride. Let's do it, man. Yeah, the, I've got the Ninja H2. Can we bring the Star Boys with us. <laughs> I got I got a resurrective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're from our area. <laughs> I don't know what they're up to right now. We'll try to. Yeah, we 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 have our version of Star Boys. We're called the Cleveland Fast Boys. You'll see in the video i gave you my card yeah yeah, Sick. yeah. i can't wait to take, yeah. a, take a look at it so yeah that'll be awesome so we're going to hang out with him next year at the 2017 aim expo which is going to be in columbus ohio so definitely you want to stay tuned for that and see what he thinks of my awesome motorcycle collection also uh we're going to make a poll or something but let us know which bike do you think that Wahid should ride for my collection should it be the h2 the r1m the hp4 the pentagalli Maybe even the Triumph 675R, the, what else do I have? The You're going to have a new R6. Here. You have an H2? I do. And the HP4? I do, yeah. Wow, man. You're so living the good life over there. <laughs> I'm trying to be like you, man. What the hell? If I had his hair, I wouldn't be standing here right now. I'd be in Hollywood making videos, making movies. Awesome, man. Sweet. Well, thanks, Wahid. Yep. It's good hanging out. You too, man. The Yamaha's boat divisions here. Their watercraft division. The Yamaha's into a little bit of everything, huh? Urban Ops Sweepstakes Edition Yamaha R1S. This actually lights up. Beautiful wheels. Look at this. S1000 with full exhaust. R9T. Yamaha demo bikes. You guys just come off a demo ride? Yeah. yeah. What'd you guys think? It was awesome. It was Which yeah. one did you ride? I rode the FZ09. Okay. Beautiful bike. Yeah, First very time torquey. riding it? Very yeah, torquey? Definitely. 100%. Oh, yeah. Are you? I ran the FZ07. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice bike. It rides really good. Wow. Good. Did, you, did you ride too? Yeah, the FZ09, the blue one. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's an awesome ride. Wow. A lot more power than I thought it was going to have. Mm hmm. Yeah, more than my R6 for sure. Yeah. Wow. Would you guys consider these bikes if you were looking for? Uh, 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a super fun bike. Yeah. It'd yeah. be nice yeah. to ride around on. Definitely awesome. 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 Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's what demo rides are all about. Giving people the opportunity to experience something they hadn't hadn't experienced yet. And those guys are huge fans of the bikes that they rode. Courtesy of Yamaha. Awesome. Somebody's whistling for me. And these folks are test riding some all-terrain vehicles. That was nice. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Faster. Don't hurt yourself. I'd be jumping those sand dunes. I kid you not. The GoPro truck looks badass with its matte paint job, but sadly, they don't have any Karmas here for me to check out a review. But I did enter to win something. I wonder if I did. Probably not. I never win anything that I enter with these raffles. The Yamaha Wall of Champions induction ceremony was totally awesome. Ten new folks were inducted this year and they are totally brilliant, brilliant folks. So we're going to try to find R1 Kelly and this police FJR 1300 Mustang Dame chasing vehicle. Yeah. 
So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Oh, this beautiful, beautiful new R1M. It's just gorgeous. I love the, what they've done with the paint on this bike now. The black side panels and the engine casings and everything are powder coated. More carbon fibers exposed. All of these fairings are carbon fiber on this bike. And I'm glad that they're exposing more of it now instead of using a lot of paint. No, I'm not going to upgrade mine to this model just for, because of the paint, so don't ask. I know in the past I've done such silliness, but this year I'm doing something different. This is an R1S. Green wheels and all that. And these are, of course, the R6s. Oh, yeah. No, 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 you're okay. Okay, yeah. I love this color right here. It's gorgeous. Love the wheels. Brilliant. And they have a little bit of everything out here at the AIM Expo. Even motorcycle auctions going on with a guy talking really fast. Well, this wraps it up for my stay here at the AIM Expo in Orlando, Florida. We got to see the reveal of the Yamaha R6 awesome motorcycle, both in blue and silver with the green wheels, totally beautiful. We saw the new Jixxer 1000 and the CBR 1000 RR, awesome, awesome motorcycles. Stay tuned for more videos of those bikes and reviews and things like that. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and new videos are uploaded every single week. Stay tuned for more videos and as always, thanks so much for viewing. We'll take you out of here with some race bikes from the AIM Expo.